started as a dream team freedom we done started in the basement whipping up a record Hey guys, so in honor of our anniversary, we're gonna do the husband tag. This is my husband, if you don't already know. His name is Dominic. Say hello, honey. Hello, honey. Speak up so people can hear you. Say hi. Tag yo it. So we have 20 questions here and we are going to answer them for you. Question number one, where did we meet? We met at church in the young adult ministry. We did. And he seen me and he was like, That's one of the Ooh. questions, so. Mm, don't get ahead of yourself. Wait, is it? I didn't look at the mic. Yeah, we'll ask the questions in order. Come on. Stick with it. Question number two. Where was our first date? Our first date was... Was that Applebee's? And I tried to pay for it. And she was like, no, I'm taking you out. I'm like, but I drove. And then she just went and paid for it. Girls can pay for things too. Did that make you feel like less of a man when I did that to you? No, it made me feel weird because it was the first date. Mm -hmm. You paid for the first date. That's weird. It's a one to remember, isn't it? I mean, it's the first one, so of course. All right. Question number three. What was your first impression of me? Dang, who that? Oh, who that? <laughs> Please excuse me. Mm, only possible. So, for me, for you, you don't notice remember. me at all. Exactly. No, like I did notice you. I don't talk a lot. I'm very like to myself. So until they all started talking to me, that was when I spoke to people. Like I seen you and I was like, oh wow, he's really tall. And I like his hair. I still do. I'm gonna let him cut it. But of course I thought you was cute. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> you are cute. Yes, I did. It's all good though. I grew, I grew on you. It's okay. I don't be paying attention to people like that. I don't, but like when we got talking, I was like, oh, he's really cute. And then like that first time we hung out and I was like, yes, he's about to be my future baby daddy. <laughs> okay, when did you meet my family? When you betrayed me, I went to visit you like a month or two afterwards. How about when I met your family? Uh, when you came back to visit a couple months later. What weird habit of each other. What's a weird habit that I have? Hmm, we were stuck. I don't have any. Yeah, you do. Okay, here's one, for example. I can't leave unless I give you a certain amount of kisses. <laughs> I'm weird about numbers. Exactly. That's a weird habit. No, that's just OCD. Like, I'm particular yeah. with numbers. That's not What's weird. How's that not weird? A weird habit I have. Like, a weird habit that that's, we each have. That's weird. That's a weird habit. Because you, like, can't not do it. That's a weird habit. No, it's just a number thing. It's it's with exactly. everything. It's not just So kisses. it's not even love. It's just like I have to get five kisses this morning. <laughs> yep, five. It needs to be three, five, or seven. Or zero. Comment below, is that weird? So you is. need to give me three, five, seven, or ten. Don't give me any in, in between numbers. Okay. It's not weird. Comment below if it's not weird. I got a few OCD friends, so I know they're going to get it. So for you, a weird habit would be... Oh, you have a weird habit of falling asleep on the couch and getting a bad attitude when I'm like, babe, come up to bed. And then you want to oh, stay there oh. all night. And then I'm like, babe, Notice look. how she thinks she's my uh, boss. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, I'm like doing you a favor so you can sleep in your bed and not the couch. Like when I'm like telling you like, babe, come up, nah, whatever. Come to bed. Come to bed. Anyway. <laughs> how long have we been together? Oh, yes. In a month. Two. We have been together for four years. Yes. Do we have any tradition? Chattanooga for an anniversary, so far. And every year on our wedding anniversary, we do creative, like, homemade gifts. But we're actually really creative, so we don't give each other, like, ugly things. It's actually cute stuff. I feel like we're intentional about making stuff tradition. New Orleans for Easter every year. We did it once, though. No, but we're going to do it again this year. We've already, see, we've already said we're going to make it a tradition. We'll see about that. An animal that resembles one another. What's an animal that I look like? Why is that funny? Because <laughs> I've never thought of that before. Me neither. What's that fish with the lips? <laughs> I mean, what else has lips? I can't think you don't look like an animal. Why does my lips are that big that no, they the most, make up everything? If you're compared to an animal, like people with a big face are compared to like a horse. Let me give you a horse. That's rude, bruh. No, you I don't just, even have... You're just like big and strong, like a stallion. I didn't think that was bad. Force face? I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> Here, Black Panther, honey. Oh. Um, I guess you're a meerkat. I'm a tiger. 
you know, put the tiger. Yeah. You're like a mere cat or a squirrel or something. What the heck is wrong with you? What? A squirrel? I mean, squirrels are small and cute and run around and are busy all the time. You were only saying that because I said horse for you, so you're trying to. No, that's literally life. what was in my head before. I'm a tiger. You don't look like a tiger. Comment below what animals you think we look like. If you say horse. If you think I'm a squirrel, I'll fight you. What was our first road trip? Uh, driving to Florida. Eh. I mean, Rhode Island. Yes. What was your first thing you noticed about me? Your eyes. Do you usually talk about my big lips? That doesn't mean it was the first thing I noticed. How'd you notice my eyes? Because you walked in the room and your eyes are bright green. Roll your eyes at me. I'm trying to be cute. <laughs> I'm trying to be cute. You asked me a question, I answered it honestly. The first thing that I noticed about you was Bye. your hair and your smile. <laughs> I love your smile. I always did. What's one thing that makes you mad? People that don't know how to mind a business. That's like number one, probably. Yeah, that probably is number one for you. Mine will probably be... Well, I was going to guess that for you. What would you guess for me? Liars. Liars. Oh, I hate a liar. Like when people make a big deal out of really small things. Like if you're going to be dramatic, be dramatic over something big. If you're going to lie, lie about something big, not stupid little petty stuff. Mm -hmm. That starts me up. What's your favorite feature about me? If we're talking physical features, I'd say probably your green eyes are nice. That's what drew me to you. I like when you're cute. <laughs> this is why you did this to me. You forced me to do this. I didn't look at any of these questions before I sent them to you. My favorite. See, this is hard because I love your smile, but I'm so protective of your hair. Whenever you say you're going to cut it, I'm like, no. This is what I look like with my hair. Ew, get out of here. <laughs> look at this. Look how nice it is. I don't know. So, So I like your hair, but... All you have to do is just like smirk at me a little bit and I melt like a popsicle on the 4th of July. That's disgusting. Three things I am good and not good at. Uh, th three things are good at? You want me to do yours first? That way you're angry at me and you can give me mine. <laughs> All right. Do you? Go ahead. You seem to have this just like in your back pocket, so go ahead and No, choose. I just, I'm always ready. Three things that you are good at. You are good at forgiving. You are good at singing. the Singing and rapping. And... Makeup. Dom does this. makeup on Instagram. <laughs> I think it's about me. I'm like, no, I'm talking about you. <laughs> and you're good at being funny. Three things you are bad at. You are bad at remembering to tell me things. And putting things in the schedule. You are bad at just coming out and saying what you gotta say, and you are bad at waking up in the morning. <laughs> How about me? <laughs> I'm mad you didn't even try so, to argue with any of mine. <laughs> you're good at makeup. You're good at um. I'm not putting into words because it doesn't. It's not the thing you're good at. But you're good at like caring for people that you don't know and you are good at like coordinating things and keeping in touch with people keeping relationships thanks i feel like i'm good at that so thanks <laughs> that's because you're bad at letting people in in the first place but once you do let them in then good comes out of it so let me tell you something um <laughs> No new friends. Hashtag no new friends. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't ever have new friends, you wouldn't have the friends you had. Oh, remember that. Proverbs. You're also bad at... <laughs> I keep thinking you're going to say something, so I don't want to say it. <laughs> I'll wait. Uh, let's see. Dang. It's going to hurt my feelings that bad. You're it's like, how do I feeling. say this? It's not anything that you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're bad at staying even tempered. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Is you're hot or cold? <laughs> you're like zero or one hundred. There's no fifty. I'm blame my, blame, blame my uncle. Facts. Blame my uncle who raised me. My mom who raised me. Um, you're bad at going to bed. What you mean? 
What That's time four. Is it? You just it's gave me four. You just, you just gave me four things, bro. That was three. That no. Was three. No, you gave me four. I'm telling you that's four. We'll see. It was an even temper thing. It was only three things. So what I thought you were going to say is um, bad at receiving a compliment. That's true. Too. You always say that. Um, that's very true. Okay. You think about that. What do we argue about the most? Um, not feeling like you heard or heard or communicating about stuff. Mm. You suck at me. You suck at giving it back. <laughs> <laughs> We're a work in progress, guys. Nobody's perfect. None of them working. We can make things. This is my favorite dance move. It's another thing you don't know. About. Shout out to my stepmom. I mean, mother in law. That's what she got the move for. Do I have TMS? Um, yes. How? I don't know. Where? Agitated easier, I guess. That's my life. That's just me. Exactly. So, so I don't, I don't got PMS. That. So you have. I only PMS because like nothing's supposed to happen in my uterus, in my ovaries. So the fire is just always lit, then. That's what you just said. No, when I'm like crampy you or said, whatever. You said I don't have PMS. It's just me. Number sixteen. That's what you said. Who wears the pants anything. in the relationship? Wow, sucker. Good job. She does. <laughs> we do. We. She calls me her slave all the time. When? When you say you own me. <laughs> it's 2018. Abolish slavery with each step. They can't see. You. They can't see you because you don't tall, you skyscraper. I'm trying to make a point. Do I have any weird obsessions? Yes. <laughs> what? Well. Where do I start? Wow. Well, we'll go back to the whole kissing on a certain number of times thing. Um, you like to watch people pop pimples, which is disgusting. Um, you like to watch weird, scary movies, scary videos, and watch people play Sims on YouTube. You like all and my I would dirty laundry. That was <laughs> uh, just a little handful of your weird obsessions. That's not real. It's not true. It's not true. I only skip through the sim videos, mm. and I don't always watch scary stuff. I watch okay. more. I watch the more worry than I do okay. the scary That's stuff. That's true. The scary stuff you can cut out, but the pimple popping is disgusting and weird. It's and not only pimples. The sims thing is too. weird. Everybody watches simmers. No, I watch a pot simmer when I'm cooking. Hashtag husband to rap. Nicknames for each other. Black and click. That's not your nickname for me. <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother. It's the funniest one though. We say like babe and babe. What's my favorite nickname for you? You just call me babe all the time. What else? Really? King of the Castle? Yes! That's my favorite line. Now what are your nicknames for me? Uh, wifey, mostly babe. She's not even me. Why? Nothing else needs to be added to you. Everything is all in common. I knew he was gonna do that. What is my favorite restaurant? Chili's. And your favorite restaurant is Wingstop. If I'm watching TV, what am I watching? Something ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Teen Mom. Ratchet. Team Mom, Ratchet. Hashtag, Black Ink Crew, hashtag, Ratchet. Hashtag Team Love Kale. and Hip Hop, Ratchet. Maury, Ratchet. No, <laughs> that's not all I want. Am I lying? That's not all I want. If you're watching TV and Catfish, which is kind of Ratchet, but I watch that too, so. You know what he watches? He watches anime like a 10 year old boy. He watches anime and sometimes football if I allow him to. Whatever. See this? Who knows what you want? Oh my god. Not even just like games. He watches like random people talking about sports. Like who cares? <laughs> Nobody cares. He watches you the same care. old screaming guy. What's his name? Stephen A. Smith. All he does is scream. He's like, oh, 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 oh. He doesn't even like let people speak. He just likes the sound of his own scream. Probably if I could poop on anybody, it would be him. Cut that. <laughs> All right, that's it. How'd you feel about that? 
you know, we learned something today. Anything? What did we learn? Nothing new. Yeah. She says I'm bad at communicating. We knew all this. Oh. I have another one. If, if you could describe our love with one music genre, what would it be? R&B. This is, this is our add-on. Yeah, but from when? 90s. The 90s R&B. That's all we used to talk about like when we first started talking. Anyway. So that's, that's, actually my vows. that's our add on question. So I will link these questions down below. And if you like this video and want to do it for yourself, you'll have access to those questions. I'll also link the website that I found the questions on if I could find that again. Stephanie Shawnees, tag, you're it. Tag, you're it. Steph and Joe. That's, that's the only other couple. My Nisha and Craig, y'all next to. Don't be doing your little ratchet thing, though, no, because it's not funny. Just be y'all for real. You can't just make people up. You don't know any. You don't, you don't really have any friends on YouTube except for one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just uh, do what you gotta do. Like tag your your husband, ask him questions, and like uh, yeah, all that. You know what I'm saying. Just do all that and like you know biracial relationships. Forever, you feel me? Biracial lives matter. That's Ow! Disgusting. Until next time, America. I'll see you on YouTube. That's what Mori always says. Slay and pray. Amen.